Hi guys, me and Lori are back again playing Would You Rather. We left Festival of Foods to go visit my aunt and now we came back. It's just a chill spot to hang out. They have a, a place here where you can buy pizza slices, soda, hot chocolate, coffee. I'm drinking McDonald's coffee. Large. A dollar ninety-two. And Lori's gonna start off with the first video. You can hold it again. You do good. Howdy. So now we're gonna ask questions. Um, would you rather questions from Teen Vogue magazine, I suppose? Um, just for a different flavor of questions. So, Tamara, would you rather communicate telepathically, like with your mind? or know every single language on the planet? Would you say about the telepathic? Would you like to be able to communicate with your mind telepathically? Or would you rather be able to speak every language that's on the planet? I'd rather speak every language. Yes, I would rather also speak every you language. I, I agree, for sure. Because that would, that would be awesome. That would. Tell, every, tell everybody what languages you are learning or do know. Well, I know Spanish fairly well, and I'm learning Danish on Duolingo for the last two and a half years. And then... And tell them what you do. I'm a Spanish teacher at two different private schools in Illinois. So. You should be proud of that, Lord. I, I am. Kindergarten through eighth grade, and we have a lot of fun, and I, they, are, they learn Spanish, and it's cute when they're so proud of themselves for understanding things. All right, so... Alright, you, it's your turn to ask a question. But I would like to learn Polish. I think that's a really difficult I'm language to learn. I'm a quarter Polish. Yeah, I'm half Polish too, actually. My dad's half. Yeah, my dad's half as well. Oh no, what happened? But Polish is so I hard to pull it. No, you're fine. Just scroll. But I think. <laughs> Hold on, we're having issues here. Yeah, there we go. Just scroll up or down. Would you rather have a one-minute conversation with your past self or your future self? I think with my future self. I would do. Yeah. Because I would tell my future what I want in the future. Oh, that's to a good idea. Oh, that's a good idea. To happen, what to happen. Right. Yeah. I can tell the future I want this job to happen. Right. That's a good one. And the past is Because the past is already, is already passed, right? It's over with. Exactly. Agreed. All right. Mm. Would you rather shout all the time or only be able to whisper? Oh, you asking me? Yeah. Would you rather shout the whole time or whisper the whole time? Whisper. Would you rather whisper? Because shouting is just too obnoxious. Right. And irritating and annoying. Right. And when I'm, when I'm loud at home because I have a teacher voice, my daughters are always like, why are you shouting? Like, I'm not trying to shout. It's just sometimes a teacher voice. But shouting is obnoxious. Yeah. It can be after a while. It can be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I was next to a, a child yesterday that was shouting the whole entire time because he was excited about playing chess with me. And it, he hurt my ears. This was at aftercare at one of my schools. All right, so anyway, um, but it's like, stop shouting. You're hurting my ears. All right, so um, I think, is it your turn to ask me a question? I'm yeah, it is, actually. Okay. No, it's actually not, but I'll do it. Okay. Yeah, it is, because I asked you about shouting or whispering, so it's not Would your you turn. rather switch your body with your ex or switch your body with your grandma? Um, well, I don't have an ex, though. 
So maybe I could say. No, he's... pretend you did. Then because, I because then Lori's been committed to her husband for twenty eight years. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. Um, I guess then it would be like an ex, I suppose, you. because I don't really have an ex. Um, I don't think I wouldn't want to have my grandma's body. I want my ex. Oh, yeah? I want my ex, not yeah. my grandma. Right. God bless your grandma and grandpa in heaven, though. Right. Aw. Oh. Mm. Would you rather bounce off of every surface you touch or never be able to jump again? Say that again, Ron. Would you rather be able would you rather bounce off everything that you touch, like bounce all the time, or never jump again? Bounce. Yeah? Yeah. Because it'd be more fun, maybe? Yeah. But you would literally be like a bouncing ball. Just bounce, bounce, bounce everywhere. I don't bounce, care. Everywhere. I would get a lot of ener ener exercise. You would. Yeah. Maybe bouncing would be more fun. It yeah. would be. It'd be like a ping pong ball. I have an idea of what to do after here. Okay. Go and get my vape, and then we'll go to Oscars, and I can get cheese curds. Okay. And they're cheap. They're like five dollars. All right. So I, are we gonna let's play the game a little yeah. bit more, and then we'll All talk right. about it. It's okay. We don't need everyone to hear the plans. <laughs> All right. Um. I think it's your turn, isn't it? Yeah, it's your turn. Whatever all they bring it here. Would you rather look like a fish or smell like a fish? It's kind of, I think I would rather look like a fish. Me too. Fish are stinky smelling. I don't like the smell of fish. No. That's a, I don't that's like that's a, No, I don't either. <laughs> I'm sure seafood tastes very good. Like I was telling Tammy today at when we were at the Chinese restaurant. I'm sure it tastes just fine, but I, I don't. Mentally, I don't like the, the look of it. Um, although I used to go fishing with my dad when I was younger. And then I stopped eating fish when I saw silvery stuff in the middle of the fish and black specks. And that was the end of eating fish. Would you rather have super weird dreams forever or never dream again? I'd rather no dreams again. No dreams again? I don't like having a period right now. Yeah, and you know, like I, and I haven't had any dreams. And um, I like to keep it that way. Yeah, maybe so, because weird dreams can be uncomfortable. I used to have some weird dreams growing up. And sometimes it makes you wake up. Right. Yeah. I think yesterday, last but night, I, I wake, wake But if it's a good dream and I wake up, yeah. it won't let my body won't fall asleep so I can get back. I don't think I've ever had a good dream. Oh, I have. Really? Yeah. I've never had a good dream. But once you wake up, you can't right. finish it. Okay. It sucks. What What was your good dream about? I don't remember. It was <laughs> a dream. Okay. I, I, now that I think about it, I've never had a, a good dream, I would call it. Tamara, would you rather live one 1,000 year life or 10 100 year lives so it's like the same amount of time you would be living but one is very long and one is broken up a hundred times one long one really yeah because because that's what i said Lori. <laughs> okay um I really took me an hour and a half to drink this coffee maybe the 10 100 year lives would be kind of cool though because then you have different kinds of lives. Different decades. 
Yeah, different decades or just you could keep doing do something different each life maybe. That might be interesting. Yeah. All right. What do you want to do? Do you want to keep going or should we stop? Yeah. You want to keep going? Okay. Would you rather have everything you eat to be sweet or not sweet enough forever? Everything I'd rather eat be sweet. Me too. <laughs> why, why wouldn't we want something sweet? There's a couple people that don't like sweets. What do you think, Kim? You would have to say sweets. Only a few people don't like sweet stuff. Um... Yes. Would you rather be covered in hair or have no hair at all? Covered in hair. Yeah? I don't want to be a baldy. But just have hair all over? Not too much hair, like an ape. Mm. I suppose you're right. Covered in hair and then maybe you could shave it if you really didn't like it. Where it was. I got laser hair removal. Yeah, right. I got that done. Did you? On my chin. And my mustache, uh, like 10 years ago, because I had facial hair like a guy. Mm, right. And I had to have six sessions done at 250 each. Wow, that's a lot of money. My mom took me. I was blessed she did that. Right. Because I would always have to shave my chin and underneath my chin and before I go to work every day and i would blab my face with makeup to try to cover it up and it didn't and like i was scared in front of everybody at work the customers like they're gonna judge me mm -hmm. my employees but i was still mctammy right so all right your turn. one more question all right let's agree okay i screw no I did it. Would you rather eat only burgers for a week or only ice cream for a week? Burgers for a week or ice cream for a week? Yeah. I think burgers for a week. Me too, because that would stay yeah. home. Yeah. Maybe with um Carnivore. Yeah, carnivore. <laughs> Carnivore. Yeah, that's supposed to be the healthy lifestyle for sure. I haven't done it yet. One of these days I want to. How about you, Tammy? You want to do carnivore someday? I want to do carnivore. My doctor won't let me because yeah. my cholesterol's high. It's like at 290 and under yeah, 200 but is normal. Yeah, that's because they don't understand. And the doctors are trained that way to they tell are, their patients. That's the thing. They are trained that way. They're not trained with actual healthy knowledge. Anyway, that's what, that's what we believe relatives, anyway. Six of, my relatives, six of my relatives are on it. They all lost weight. Yeah. My first cousin, who was in charge of getting my other relatives to do it, yeah, Carrie. lost 105 pounds in the last 11 months. And he has a YouTube channel, Carrie. At, um, it's called Homestead How. Yeah. Homestead How. And he lives in Wisconsin. 166,000, no, 223,000 subscribers. And he posts a video every day about um, carnivore. Yeah, like, he's he got so healthy in no and no time at all, all of all kinds of meds, and he's now um, like running around in bare feet and totally energized in the snow and not cold or freezing and like. He's off a CPAP machine. Yeah, off a CPAP. <laughs> he doesn't. <coughs> He's extremely happy and healthy right now, so that's a good thing. All right, well, we're going to say adios. It's good to see you again. Adios, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.